Okay, I'm ready for assembly now. So we're going to do a new assembly file. And the first part I want to bring in is my passenger section. And we go ahead and place it. And then, of course, it would allow us to bring in multiple of the same. So when we bring in the tires, we only bring in the, the one, or we can bring in four all at once. But now that I have that passenger section in, the very first thing I want to do is ground it. So I'm going to right click on it in the browser or on the object. We want to ground it. So that way that part doesn't move. Okay. And then let's bring in a couple of connectors. Okay. Because there's going to be one to connect the front section and the back section. Okay, and we want to remember that it takes a number of constraints. Initially, we have six degrees of freedom. It can move along the x-axis, the y-axis, the z-axis, and it can rotate around x, y, and z. So there are six degrees of freedom. Um, and it takes a combination of mates and flushes to... fully constrain something. So I'm going to select my two faces. When I hear that pop, I know that I have a successful constraint. And I like kind of just using the two, the, so I, I, fl I made it the bottom and I clicked apply. And then, let's see, let's do free rotate because then I'm going to constrain that side to that side and then if I do move constrain and then free rotate and I'm just using that so I can pick just so, just so I can see enough of the pieces to pick the surfaces that I want to mate. So I'll mate that side and that side. Okay, so once it's fully constrained, you should be able to grab it and we get the no-go Ghostbusters sign there. That means we can't move it. Now, if we look at this straight on, there's a lot of gaps, okay? But remember, this was the simplified connector. Um, so is this really going to hold this together? No. It's kind of one of the problems with the automobile blocks. If we build the hard connectors, we'll be working on automobile blocks in June. Never finish them. So, um, so but it does, you know, it's kind of nice. They should be there. Um, but there's way too, too, way too big of a gap for that to actually work. Okay, so go ahead and put the other connector on, put the truck bed on, put the windshield in, everything. Then we'll talk about the tires. Okay, I've got the uh, truck basically assembled. Now I've brought in four tires, four wheels. And for these, we're going to use an insert constraint. Um, now, all an insert constraint does is align circles. It's very similar to a mate, but it aligns circles. So if I put in, um, I'll go to constraint, okay? And here is the insert constraint. Now, notice we can have either opposing arrows or aligned arrows. So usually we want to do opposing arrows. So either one of these circles here on this lip, that's the part that gets inserted into the truck body. Okay, so I go ahead and apply those. And then 
again it's opposing circles so I'm going to select that circular edge with circular edge on the body now those um, would also those once you do that okay those axles will still spin and they really aren't supposed to spin in the body so we probably would want to do um, some type of additional constraint where I could say do um, an angle constraint and we did a rectangular cutout I could make that rectangular cutout be a zero degree angle I gotta pick two two work planes two directed angles put it put a zero degree angle with the um, with the back of the truck body I just needed some type of vertical edge so I just picked the back of the truck body and now you'll notice I can't move that axle anymore it doesn't spin so we don't really want the axles to spin we want the uh, we just want the uh, wheels to spin on the axles okay so uh, go ahead and put um, those on okay again the um, the wheel or the rim on the axle here we'll do another insert demonstrate something else here let me rotate that around first okay all it does is align circles so I want to do the back of the wheel I want to align that with the back of this other little lip here so again that's constrain insert so either one of these circles on the back edge needs to align with either one of those circles on the axle and that's it and apply